Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to show you a technique which is quite common in e-commerce space where as a shop owner, you can create a survey and then send that survey to your end customers to know a little more about them, what we call zero party data. And this is something which then we will be able to use inside our CDP, which is you know, Clavio in our case, and we will be able to personalize our communication based on the kind of responses that we will get from this survey that was being filled by the customer on Typeform. So before we go into the details of how the form was created and stuff like that, let's first understand what is the kind of integration that I have done between Clavio and Typeform so that the data exchange is happening seamlessly. So this is my Clavio dashboard. If I go to integrations, you will see that I have obviously Shopify integrated with Clavio, but then I also have Typeform. Now in here, if you go to advanced options, I have mentioned that you know, this particular form, which I have created inside Typeform will be synced with Clavio. And I got this ID from here, you know, once you click on that particular form, right, you get this form slash this hash that is your form ID. So everything over here will be, you know, synced back to Clavio. And that's how if I show you one profile, which is here, you will see that, you know, this particular profile of mine from a dummy store has a lot of details like you know, the questions which I have asked. Um, do you listen to music when you cycle? How often do you cycle in a week? You know, um, things like that. So yes, let's understand how this was done and how the relation was created between, you know, the type form when a user fills it versus, you know, syncing that into Clavio with that particular customer. How do we know that? And those kind of questions. Okay. So let's get started. Now I'm here on my type form dashboard. I am on inside this cyclist research. This is the survey that I created, assuming that we are running a store deals with cycles, a little bit of introduction around why we are taking this survey and those kind of things. There are three major sections where I have asked questions, some around the preference of the user and how and he cycles or he or she actually right so how often do you use do you use cycle in a week what time do you prefer for cycling and those kind of stuff this basically gives us an idea about the frequency of the of that cyclist okay and then i have some specific use cases like you know so uh, if assuming that the user is or that the customer is you know listening to music so i ask this question whether he or she listens to music or not and even here, we have a nice little branching, which is if he selects yes, right, then he will get the next question, which is which services have you heard about? Whereas if he doesn't, then he goes directly to this question. Now, how have I done this? Let me show you. So Typeform does allow you certain kinds of branching options. So I have this question, which is 2A, then 2B, then it's 2B has this role over here show you so 2a is the deciding one if a basically that means if the answer to this question is option a then i go to 2b okay in all other cases i go to 2c so it is like an if condition if answer is equal to a then this else this okay with this, I was able to create this branching kind of a question. And then you know, there are two ways to connect your user with Clavio. One is that, you know, on one particular slide, and when I'm saying one, it should be one particular slide where you have an email field and only one field in the entire form so that Clavio is able to relate that particular customer with any profile that is already there. Okay, so this is one way. 
And this does help when you are creating a survey and you feel that there are, I mean, the target audience, most of them are not already in your system. Whereas there can be situations where you are targeting customers who are already there on your system. Like this survey originally was intended for me to send to some users who have already purchased certain kinds of products which relate to cycling. So we can even get rid of this and try and add a hidden field so that I don't need to ask the email address again because that takes away the level of personalization that you have because ideally I will send this survey through an email. Now, if I have sent that survey through an email to an end customer, I already know his email. Then why should I get the email from him again on that survey, right? So if you have those kind of situations, what you can do is, let me show you. Um, so I have lo the logic place and in there, you can go to personalize with data and you will get here hidden fields. And in here, you can select the fields that you are looking for. So right now I can do add email name and with this, I should be able to you know, get those things in place. Okay. How does that work? Well, I'll show you here the connect tab. If you go to that, no, sorry, not connect. Uh, you have integrations and webhooks in here, but I'm not right now looking at that. What I'm looking at is copying this. And can you see this URL? This is like email equals XXX and name equals XXS. So any value that I pass over here will be then submitted by type form when it sends the data to Clavio. And so what we can easily do is send these two values in the URL when we are sending the email with the survey link, right? So let's see how I have done that. I'll go to campaigns. That's where I created that Clavio campaign. This is just a dummy one. Obviously, you will not create such boring campaigns. But right now, the basic configuration is that and I'm sending to VIP customers. Let's look at the content. So I have this subject line and this is my email content. And as I said, right, this is really very boring. You, you can't expect you know, users to read these kind of emails and really click on that particular thing unless and until you are a big brand. But even then, you know, put some image, put something interesting. I was doing it just for the sake of R&D and hence it is as simple as that because no one else other than me was actually reading it. When I go over here, I have this you know, template string which is integrating the user's name over here. And then I have this survey link. This survey link, if you see again in here, I have these. Maybe I'll need to open up VS Code. This as the URL. Now, what is happening over here? I'm taking the person.email, this is the placeholder, and then I have name equals this. Now, how am I getting this? Well, I can show you what happens is, let's just open Clavio in, oh, not here, um, preview and test. If you click over here, right, copy, then you basically get that field. So you can pick up any particular thing from the profile properties and try and get the template value. You just need to click on it. So for example, email is something like this. Okay. So that's how I was able to create this mail with that survey link, which has the email dynamically added to the email content based on the user's profile. And you can also try and send a test email from here and see how things look. So once we have sent the email to the end user, the user will get that particular link. He will click on it and he will end up with something like this. And let me just put my email ID just for the sake of
and yeah here we are let's go and i am i'm not going to start it right now because i have already filled my preferences i have taken this survey what i can do is i can show you the two responses which i have given with the two different email ids by the way the trial version or the free version allows you only seven ten responses in a month so be a bit careful with your testing otherwise you will exhaust them so yeah this is my how do you say this is my you know, res response list and you know, as i said right i had two different versions one where the email was taken through the hidden field and one where the email was actually being captured as a question okay so this one is through a field and this is through you know the hidden field thing okay now with that done we have the responses but then how does it look on Klaviyo? so i'll go to profiles and i have opened up this particular profile where you, know, you can see what all things i have done this is an r d store and hence i have a lot of activities going on in here you know you can see you have you know, cart is about to expire so we have you know uh, abandoned cart emails you have reminded emails and a lot of stuff um, but the most important thing over here is if you go to information you can see all the fields are being populated and this is how we are able to get that information from the user through the survey form one important piece to note is if you go to the integrations documentation give attention to this particular line when you integrate type form type form sorry you can automatically add form subscribers to specific Klaviyo list the type form integration syncs key information from type forms to Klaviyo once every hour and this is important so don't expect immediate visibility of the responses on the Klaviyo field it will take some time so give it that one hour i mean it depends when you have submitted it and uh, based on that you, your fields will be updated but yes it definitely does the other option is obviously you can go for webhooks but then you know it is development work so if you are looking for a no code kind of a solution i feel that that is also possible definitely the one of the smoothest ways to integrate type form and now one important thing is let's just say that you have a discount which you want to give to users who have taken the time to fill that survey so what you can do is you can create a flow let's just say we create one flow where from scratch obviously let's say survey filled i'll just show you the parameters which are available and that's how you'll understand that you can actually trigger them so how are we going to trigger it so the trigger point is a metric which is filled out type form we will filter by form id being equal to this okay and then once this is done i'll send an email now you can definitely click over here and see the preview trigger setup it says that Two users are falling in this flow right now one is amitav.roy plus flow check okay this is happening because this user has filled up the form and also the one which we are currently logged in as and hence you can see that you can create this flow and automatically you can have you can basically send a discount code because you do get the ability to how do you say let's just try and edit content Right, I can I can pick basically if anything which is over here and then I can add certain kinds of buttons and text and whatnot and let's just say we can also say that use this code to get a discount of maybe 10% on your next purchase so that's how you will be able to automate the process of you send a campaign to a specific kind you know, to specific users and let us just say you targeted all the users who have purchased any product which is falling in the category of you know, cycling and then you send them that survey link and 
you have this automation in place where the immediately when they fill the survey right and the top type form submission is happening they will get an email with the discount code which they can use in their next purchase so yeah that's about it guys that's how we are able to completely automate this process of creating surveys and then targeting your customers getting that information and then personalizing the messaging from your platform to them and also have a flow in place which will allow you to send a discount code based on you know the feedback that they have given so thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel